But first, on this show, ladies and gentlemen, I like to read you a random Bible chapter. That's right. Every day on the show, we like to read you a random Bible chapter because a random Bible verse, well, I don't know. That's just, that's just not giving you the full thing. And uh, some people just like to give you a random verse. And you're like, huh? What happened? I'm not, I, I'm so confused. Here we go. Three, two, one. Deuteronomy 13. Here we go. Deuteronomy 13. If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes true, concerning which he spoken to you, saying, let us go after other gods. Hold on. This, whoa. Comes true, let us go after other gods whom you, whom you may not known, and let us serve them. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you to find out if you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall follow the Lord your God and fear him, and you shall keep his commandments, listen to his voice, serve him and cling to him. But that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has counseled rebellion against the Lord your God who brought you from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery to seduce you from the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. So you shall purge the evil from among you. If your brother, your mother's son, or your son or daughter, or the wife you cherish, or your friend who is at your own soul entice you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods whom neither you or your fathers have known, of the gods of the people who are around you, neither you or far from you, from one end of the earth to the other end, you shall not yield to him or listen to him. And your eyes shall not pity him, nor shall you spa sp spare or conceal him. But you shall surely kill him. Your hand shall be first against him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. So you shall stone him to death, because he has sought to seduce you from the Lord your God, who brought you out from the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. Then all Israel, who will, who will hear and be afraid, and will never again do such a wicked thing among you. If you hear in one of your cities, which the Lord your God is giving you to live in, anyone saying that some worthless men have gone out from among you and have seduced the inhabitants of the city, of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods whom you have not known, then you shall investigate and search out and inquire thoroughly. If it is true, and the matter established that this abomination has been done, has been done among you, you shall surely strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword utterly destroying it and all that is in it and its cattle with the edge of the sword. Then you shall gather all its booty into the middle of its open square and burn the city and all its booty with fire as a whole burnt offering to the Lord your God, and it shall be a ruin forever. It shall never be rebuilt. Nothing from that which is put under the band shall cling to your hand in order that the Lord may turn from his burning anger and show mercy to you and have compassion on you, and make you increase, just as he has sworn to your fathers. If you will listen to the voice of the Lord your God, keeping all his commandments, which I am commanding you today, and doing what is right in the sight of the Lord your God. What's next? I feel like that just ended right there. He was, he has, hold on. Let me reread this end here. This is just one. Nothing from that which is put under the ban shall cling to your hand in order that the Lord may turn from his burning anger and show mercy to you and have compassion on you and make you increase just as he has sworn to your fathers. If you will listen to the voice of the Lord your God, keeping all his commandments, which I am commanding you today and doing what is right in the sight of the Lord your God. I guess, I guess, I guess the way this, this translation is wording it, I guess keeping his commandments is what's doing right in the sight of the Lord your God. Okay, it's just worded weird. Okay. I got it. I got it. I'm, I, hey, I got to reread it sometimes. Sometimes you got to be like, oh, I don't know. All right, well, I thank you guys for uh, joining me on the random chapter of the day, Deuteronomy 13.
Sometimes they put those commas and periods in the wrong spots, and it's like, what? Oh, uh -uh. what? Uh -uh. I make these faces when I'm reading. 